Hello everyone, it is Aikman and we're playing on Mind Blast. It is currently not open and I'm going to answer some whoops. I'm going to answer some of the questions that you might have. First of all, uh I can't join the server. Why? Uh because it's currently not open. Number two Um why is the server not open? And that is because of Pocketmine, which I, which is the server system that I use to, that I use to host the server. And the thing is that it is really, really glitchy at the moment. It, it's barely even usable for for bigger servers. Um, and the reason for that is. Well, the main reason is the chunks, and that they get loaded when they should not get loaded, and sometimes they don't even get loaded, and it's all just a mess. Um, so they are working on that. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I'll have, <laughs> I'll try to have the server up as much as I can. Sadly, that will not be a bunch though. Uh, because as soon as I put it on my VPS, my virtual private server, uh, it kills itself pretty quickly. Um, so that sucks, I know. And hopefully, these glitches and bugs will be fixed within the next coming weeks. Sadly though, I don't think that's gonna happen at all because of the Minecraft Open 10 version for uh, for Android users. I have tried it out and it looks cool. Uh, really looking forward to it. It fixes some uh, some minor bugs. This is the spawn basically. Uh, you will spawn on my little face there. I'm currently not using that skin at the moment because I'm using Steve for some reason, as you can see on my hand. Um, that is what my face look like. Um, so when you spawn here, you will see different sections here. So survival, parkour, the rules, and then the games. So if, at, the first thing I recommend you to do is to read the rules. Uh, really good rules uh, for good gameplay for everyone. Here we have some contact information and stuff like that. So uh, I thought like this, why not go ahead and show you uh, what's on the server. So when you join, you might want to play some regular survival maybe. Or yeah, let's go ahead with the survival. Uh, so to get to there, you either press on that sign where it says teleported to survival hub. Or if that sign for some reason doesn't work, you could type that in the chat slash warp sir hub and if you send that you will get teleported to the same location as that but I'm gonna tap the sign and then a message will show up it will say teleporting at player the at player means you but it will it's supposed to say your name but it appears to be a bug here uh, to the world name so if you teleport to spawn, it will say uh, teleporting you to uh, spawn. And then it will say seeing strange things. If so, break a block. If nothing is loading, relog. As I said, the chunks are pretty broken. So uh, that means that sometimes you will not see anything, but you can still walk around. To fix this, you either have to break a block or place a block. When you place a block, the chunk will be refreshed and you will be able to see to see the chunks basically and what's in them. A chunk is basically a 16 by 16 area uh, that the server or that Minecraft uses to load different sections of the game. Uh, and obviously if uh, if a lot of chunks are loaded that's even more heavy for the game and it uses up more memory and that's what's uh, killing the server 
uh, on on my behalf at least uh, or on my side sorry um, so you spawn on this little emerald block and if you look up to the sky a, a little bit not up there but here it will say one two three and four currently the four and three are not on and I don't think they will be anytime soon hopefully but I'm not it doesn't look like it um, so if you go to the one here it will say survival hashtag one info this world is 256 by 256 blocks big which is the old minecraft PE generation like the smaller worlds uh, it has many biomes and caves all survival worlds will be reset every so often and uh, what this means is that I will uh, I will start them over I would yeah that's probably the best description of that so all everything people have built in it uh, will be reset so that it will look like it does right now and that is because uh, people will grieve and make the world look ugly and I want my glass to be clean and all that so yeah and it also has a 35 by 35 blocks protection which is for example here uh, 35 blocks that way 35 blocks that way uh, 35 blocks that way and 35 blocks that way of protection did I do that right did I do the math right? I don't think so. Um, maybe only 16 there. Or, uh, sorry, 17 and 17. Or 18 it will be. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. But it's it's fine for, for my purpose at least. So, same concept here. If you want to teleport to the world, you press on that. And if you... Uh, if that sign is not working then use type slash warp survival one so I'm gonna press the sign and it will take a little bit to load and then you are in so as you can see we have these uh, bedrock uh, walls all around it that is just to to prevent you from going further uh, there's actually nothing uh, nothing on the other side but the but air otherwise you're free to go and do whatever you want on this world but griefing of course oh good cave there and then if you want to get back to spawn let's say for example you're lost you're lost and you want to get back to the main spawn then you run slash spawn and you oh I crashed Okay, so we are on again. Let's go to the game sections. There is this other survival world that I'm not going to show you, but it it works the same way. Uh, so to get to here, same concept. Press on the sign or slash warp games. And then you will get teleported to this. As you can see, we have a PvP section, spleef section, which is currently not added. Mine station and the signs here seems to be a bit broken, and the dropper uh, and the signs appears to be broken there as well. So let's go ahead and go to the PvP. Sadly, I didn't read the signs. I'm very sorry, uh, but this is a good example. Read here, seeing strange things. If so, break a block, uh, break or place block. Uh, I'm going to place a block right there, and then you will see that this side loaded. And that is because this is one chunk and that is another one. So uh, another, chunks, uh, another chunk starts right here. So if you want to refresh this as well, you simply just place a block within that area and it will get refreshed. Boop. So if you look here, PvP kits. We have kits that will be added soon ish <laughs> it depends on pocket mine and all that and then we have the sniper we have the fighter and the viking the donator kits assassin and ninja and don't freak out people don't freak out 
And it's Donator Kids. That is not allowed on server. Yes, it is. It is, but only at a certain point. I'm going to show you how. So you read it like this. Uh, this is what's included in the sniper kit. One bow, 20 arrows, one wood axe, and six stakes. And then fighter, iron sword, iron chest, plate, iron boots, and six stakes, and so on and so forth. So, to you can actually get these. And if you can get these, or buy them for in-game money, then the Aeola is fine with it. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit, because there is a shop, or there will be a shop, before this gets added, um, at the mine station. I'm going to show you where the mine station is uh, in a little bit. Uh, but don't worry about that, we are following the rules, or I am. I'm currently the only one on. Welcome to PvP, you can go ahead and read all these signs later. If you want to go to the PvP arena, you simply do slash warp fight. Whenever you send this, you must be ready to fight. Because someone might be where you spawn and then they will kill you immediately uh, if you are not ready to fight back. So you send it, you go back and you kill the ones that are in here. And there's only one way to get back from here to to the spawn or to the rest of the server. And that is to die. And there are many ways to die here. You can either die by getting killed by someone else, uh, by dying here in the lava, by falling down, and on here you will not be able to break any blocks at all. And so yeah, you'll have to check this out yourself later. Uh, so let's just go ahead and kill ourselves. Uh, also, this is also a way to die. Uh, you can use slash kill. And then you will get teleported back to spawn. And your inventory will be cleared. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the games again. And let's spleef is not added. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the dropper then. Uh, and since there are no signs here, you could assume that it was a slash warp dropper. However, if you don't know what it says on the sign, you can do slash warp and then all the warp location. Warp location is basically a teleporter location. So instead of a teleporter it is a warp does that make sense to you I hope it do it does so as you can see it says dropper here nicely so we gonna we're going to go ahead and type that in and then send it and you will get teleported to the dropper so basically what a dropper is is that you are going to avoid all blocks when you fall oh well this one is pretty simple you can only drop down here and when you drop and hit the water you will get teleported to the next uh, dropper location uh, however right now you will just get teleported back up here but well, let's go ahead and go to the mine station signs are broken you go to slash warp MS and these letters uh, have to be in caps. You will get teleported to the mine station. And science seems to be broken here as well, sadly. Um, on each of these and each of those, there are going to be shop locations. So uh, you can buy things here. For example, kits. This is a bunker. I built this for some reason and then then I just made it to a mine station. But I think I'm going to change that to something else. So the mine station will be somewhere else because this might be a little mini game. Oh ho ho, I think I've said too much already. This is a little gun. 
and as you can see we are having some chunk issues and uh, what have you learned today if this is happening to you simply place a block and one chunk yeah here you can see that it's 16 by 16 is loaded and then place a block there there and there so on and so forth so and if you don't want to go ahead and uh, place a bunch of blocks then you can relog okay so we are back let's go to the parkour and then we will end the video so these signs are not broken so we can go ahead and tap on that and this is what the parkour looks like I think it's kinda it's kinda tough so whoops you might not like it uh, but I think it's good actually uh, I've tried all the jumps and they are working so uh, if you can't make any of them I recommend you to go to a creative world and try them out yourself because they are actually possible look at this I'm such a beast of parkour holy crap uh huh as you see I just want to see how good I okay that's it and so let's just fly over here a little overview and show you what it looks like I think it looks kinda neat we have these ups and downs I really like that some uh, variety to it and obviously here is the final part of it and I'm gonna miss it there we go and it says awesome on it and that means that you completed it as you can see up here we have these these cute little faces uh, when I built this I I always looked at it from this perspective for some reason and from down here you can't really see them the faces so I'm probably going to move the sign down or maybe just these these little buggers uh, so that you can actually see them from here when you finish the parkour simply press on the teleported to spawn and you are back here so that was everything for this video hope you guys have the patience to wait mind blast is going to be back very soon better than ever and thank you for watching have a great day bye bye